It happens every time. I forgot to get my coffee. Imprisoned on the 14th floor, I watch the sunlight sail into oblivion, and I lose myself. But it always comes back. The speckled metropolitan days push as hard as they can, glowing as hard as they can against the dense night. I watch it all, because it was all mine. Then I was imprisoned on the 14th floor. Can't let these things string you down. You gotta make a mess. You gotta sweep the boards and throw your life around. I wanna say my only friend is this bottle. But it might be my only enemy. You gotta love your enemies. That's why I'm up on the 14th floor. You gotta love your enemies and the game. But what do I know? I don't live my life. I just live. I got a weekly protocol hammered out. Mondays are the slower mugs. Apprentice mob boys, if that phrase even exists. They keep the pegs oiled. Tuesdays are the rich man's luncheon. They never shave their lip wigs. Wednesdays usually need a partner to count the bullet holes. Thursdays are my luncheon. I like a good whiskey sandwich. Then comes Friday, today. The upper class girls, sometimes fast talking, sometimes fast looking, always half past sundown. Open. Enter the dame. Seat. She had both eyes wet. Must be a story. I don't know where I might begin. I... Oh, you got a big table. You put it all out. It's my husband. He's... He's... This one was a redhead. She was wondering if she needed to finish the sentence. And I was wondering about the orientation of my interest. How? He's been shot. Name? Bankwood. Charles Bankwood. He owned the Northern Estate? I was already leaning back. I was thinking that one of these days I should write down this formula of a story so it doesn't have to keep happening. Any guesses? What do you mean? Who? What? Why? That sort of thing. Oh, my, I, I don't know. He was highly respected, so it could have been anyone. And he was rich. There it is. Well, judging from my experience, this can't be mob-related. Job's too easy. Pulls too much attention. Had to have been some loaf. Didn't have the experience to keep the town asleep. Could be one of the Monday mugs. Those fools would rob a bell factory. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep drilling you for information. I'm going to put her through the lens. I'm going to wash her good. This is why I do this job. I don't know if he had any enemies. But then again, I don't really know much about what he did. What kind of a name is Bankworth. The Marachino boys ain't good with the fake names. He drank a lot, but that's another story. No, no. I need everything. He's been known to gamble. But after all, he was rich, you know. This is gonna be a good case. This is gonna be a bad case. I found him. Lying on the concrete stairs outside of our front door. He was shot in the heart. I couldn't bear to... Any signs of turbulence in the house? Uh, lamp knocked over, footprints? No. Well, no, not that I saw. But I was so much in shock, I... It's all a mystery to you. That's right. I don't know who would have done such a thing. I think, I think you might be spending quite a long time with me on this case. That was music to my ears, because she was music to my eyes. All right, I got some investigating to do. Bobby. Hey, Dick. I mean, detective. What do you make of this? Uh, he's a dead guy. <laughs> you got to give the kid credit for at least trying to be funny about this. He really wants that tough guy routine. I might have laughed if it wasn't sick from all the butterflying of these news reporters. I guess wealthy property owners can have that effect. Answer the question for real. Yeah, he's got a hole in the heart. Sounds like a lady's job. 
But it's a pretty clean shot, though, so we're talking maybe a pea shooter here. Uh, a Tommy Chopper would have punched him down to Raggedy Tuesday, so this ain't no mob job. Sometimes, Bobby, you got yourself a top-notch bucket. Shucks, you just busted my strings. Couldn't stop thinking about that dame. She was just breaking my walls right down. Her marriage to this Bankworth. He was more than 20 years her senior. I didn't want to think about the fact that a little flower might get painted with grease machines, too. So what do you think happened? I don't crank out guesswork. That job's for voice crack and lackeys with high hopes and low tension spans. No offense, kid. Well, well, well. Look we have here. Hey, uh, detective. How's the office like treating you? <laughs> I think you're the one entitled office er. Oh. Remind me to thank your wife for her touching hospitality. Oh, easy, buddy. This guy's worth your concern. Yeah, you got that right. Come on, we gotta go take care of the press. You're flying around like buzzards. Yeah, sure. And let me tell you this something, detective. You can keep your credit making on your side of the town. I don't need the likes of you mustering up ideas and complications. Jeez, what do you think you got into their pipes? Micropolitics. Can't make everybody happy. I got the mob to thank for this. They snatched up too many of the town's officers. It's the money. They all turned into hustlers for a clam roll. Seems you just can't trust greed. Bobby, why don't you to do some work for me? Name it, boss. I'm gonna go play the sleuth game. You could uh, finish up the body report. Why don't you give me any extra details, though? Anything that shows up later. Gee, thanks, boss. I'm not your boss. This is not a family. Sorry, detective. Doing a good job. You can't look up to me. I can't be an inspiration. You gotta make your own self. But you're doing a good job. You ain't slacking me? Most kids, they read the books, memorize the lines, sing the songs. Yeah, you gotta live the life. You can't live the life by the book. You can't memorize the lines of the book, because they're just books. They ain't about life. See you later, kid. Body reports.